safely at his house without the proper permit. His wife, Suzanne Selman, joined us last week. Defies logic, honestly. Um, I don't understand, you know, that something so small got just so large like this. But get this, the same lawyer who prosecuted Michael Salmon, who's now serving 60 days in prison, plus three years probation and has to pay a $12,000 fine, recently dismissed a group of Occupy protesters who not only cost the city more than $200,000, but were also in violation of criminal trespassing codes. So is there a political agenda behind this double standard? Here now is Mark Spencer, Southwest Projects Coordinator of Judicial Watch and retired Phoenix police officer. Good to see you this morning, Mark. It's great to be with you. All right, so is there a double standard? Well, you know, Judicial Watch and our community leader partner, leadership partners are, are certainly concerned. You know, if you're a Christian pastor in Phoenix and you break the law, you get punished. But if you're an Occupy protester in Phoenix and you break the law, you get the advantage of a political agenda with having charges dismissed and even in the court paperwork the city prosecutor equates these protesters with as patriots on the level of sam adams and paul revere it's just shameful all right so the one thing that some people are questioning is why did the pastor if he wanted to hold bible study why didn't he just get the permit and then he would not be in the difficulty that he's in now or should you have the argument that hey you know he doesn't really need a permit to have bible study in his house which one is it no, no, I think there are zoning ordinances in place to protect our communities, and we need to follow the rule of law. What happened to the pastor is he got the blunt end of the rule of law. What happens to the occupied protesters is they get the, the cozy, comfortable end of a political agenda that matches the city prosecutors. We have a real concern that, that this smacks of prosecutorial misconduct. and It's unfortunate. It doesn't serve the community well at all. So I want to read you a quote from the chief assistant Phoenix city prosecutor. It came down to zoning and proper permitting. Anytime you are holding a gathering of people continuously as he does, speaking of the pastor, we have concerns about people being able to exit the facility properly in case there is a fire. And that's really all this comes down to. Although I think a lot of our viewers, Mark, this morning are thinking about all this video of the Occupy protesters and maybe all the money that it costs to have extra police officers there to enforce it. Many of them sometimes attacked by these protesters. So is it a direct comparison or not? Well, and, and, and everyone's seeing the big elephant in the room. Uh, because the pastor didn't line up with the political agenda of, of a real liberal city prosecutor, the, the, the Occupy protesters can rack up a $200,000 bill, and even there's a pursuit of having their arrest records expunged. Uh, it's a double standard that's driven by a political agenda, and, and that's unfortunate that that's what drives the prosecutorial decisions here in Phoenix, which really smack of prosecutorial uh, uh, inadequacies and, and, and misconduct. All right. It's an interesting comparison. Mark Spencer, Southwest Projects Coordinator of JudicialWatch.org and a retired Phoenix police officer. Thanks for your time, sir. Thank you. Have a good morning.